Hello and welcome to the Watchman Channel. This prophetic word comes from Bob Pittman, Rice Lake, Wisconsin. Ox anointing for the harvest. Proverbs 14.4 Without oxen, a stable stays clean, but you need a strong ox for a large harvest. I was in our church building during our corporate prayer time. There was a great atmosphere of God's presence in the sanctuary while praying, walking toward the platform. A wave of God's presence came upon me, and I went into an open vision. With my eyes open, I watched the church building begin to change into a very large building. Right behind the pulpit, a massive black ox appeared on the stage. It was perhaps three times its normal size. It created a sense of awe in the room. The ox was also extremely muscular. It would flex its muscles starting in the front near the head. and You could see the muscles ripple all the way back to the tail. As this was happening, the roof of the church was removed. The sun was glistening upon the ox, and the rippling of its muscles could easily be seen from anywhere in the sanctuary. Then the church was filled with people. A huge crowd was there. One by one, people would shout, Look at the power of the ox! Look at the power of the ox! I was shaken by watching this. I knew the ox represented the power of God. This ox was captivating and so powerful. This display of pure power caused, excite- it caused excitement. <laughs> it caused a sense of holy reverence in the room. Then I watched a giant hand come in through the roof. It picked up the ox, threw it out into a field, and as it happened, the voice of God said, Now harness that thing and put it to work. I knew in my spirit that we would see waves of power released in the church and the body of Christ again. The harvest would be greatly enhanced when the ox was utilized in the marketplace. The fields are ripe unto harvest. We must have the power of the ox to reap a large harvest. Would you join with the many churches and the believers that are crying out to God for an outpouring of his wonderful power again? Then personally, let's begin to take bold steps of faith and allow the Holy Spirit to use you everywhere for the harvest. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we we pray for giftings. We pray for signs and wonders. We pray, Father, for increased platforms and for growth in ministry. But, Lord, it's all spelled W-O-R-K, work. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you have called us to work. I pray, Father, that we would delightfully, joyfully set out to co-labor with you, Father. Lord, would you just give my friend a sense of this ox anointing? I love that, that, that thought. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you do give us the ox anointing, and not anointing like in an Old Testament sense, where it was here today, gone tomorrow for a specific purpose, but that every day, Father, in and out, highs and lows, power of God coursing through us that he purchased, that Jesus purchased at Calvary. Lord Jesus, that we would move forward, that we would move forward pushing back the darkness, pushing back the works of the enemy, that we would continue, Father, the plan and the purpose that you have for my life, for my friend's life, and that, Lord, you would position us to co-labor with you in the harvest. It's coming, friend. The harvest is coming. The harvest is coming. The harvest is here. The harvest is near. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.